morning. Um, so today I'm thinking of doing a little like, follow me around my house <laughs> vlog. Um, so yeah, if you just want to hang out with me, um, I've got my degusta box to go through. I'm going to show you how I make that Mongolian beef and I've got a little Primark haul. Um, then stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel and welcome to me in the morning. <laughs> um, I've not done like a little like day in my life vloggy video before, but I thought it'd be really, really fun. Just super, super chill. I'm just going to give it a go. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty laid back kind of day. Um, <clears throat> I've definitely got my morning voice on um but yeah i'm gonna show you that mongolian beef recipe that i've been harking on about um the degusta box yeah i went to primark with han and i got some really cute accessories and bits so i thought i'd throw that in here and yeah if you like this kind of content also your plus size fashion um kind of like home interior things then do give me a little subscribe down below i post every tuesday and thursday um and yeah obviously give this video a big thumbs up um i think now i'm gonna go and do my makeup
So guys, here is the finished look. Um, I used the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I love a pinky look, it's so beautiful. And then I got one of my absolute fave. fave. If you like a moisturizing lipstick, if you're over the matte liquid lipsticks, highly, highly recommend the Maracuja Juicy Lips from Tarte. In the UK, you can buy them directly from the Tarte website or QVC have them in quite good like deal bundles. Um, nothing wrong with a QVC moment, especially if they're as good as this. Um, so highly, highly recommend. Um, I think, what am I gonna do now? Oh, I'm gonna get out of my nighty. <laughs> I do have to put a wash on today. Um, yeah, let me get out of my nighty. And I'll also, you did just have a sneak peek of my office. I will be doing a full on office tour um where i will show you everything where it's from um etc etc so that'll probably be coming beginning of june maybe my schedule's a bit all over the place guys i've got so many things and ideas i want to film and just not enough time in the day to do so um so yeah i'm gonna yeah get changed <laughs> So guys, I have this month's Degusta box. I think this is the earliest I've ever filmed this box. Now I have my own place. It's gonna make it's gonna make me film a lot a little bit easier. Let me just get some scissors. Um, so I do normally do these videos with my mum or my dad. You will be seeing them still. In my videos i think mum's even coming over today but it's going to be a bit more on an ad hoc basis you know my parents supported me at my channel for like a year and a half i was kind of at living at my parents for and um they were super involved because they had to be <laughs> like if you film it, it does take over the house because, you know, they can't really do other things in the background because of noise or, like, we had to basically, like, rearrange the kitchen every time I did clothing hauls and, um, you know, it, you know that's why mum kind of got involved because she was like, well, what, what else can I do? <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm kind of wanting to give them their time back now that I'm no longer living there. So you will still see them. It's just not going to be maybe as much, but hopefully, hopefully I'm good enough company. <laughs> so I'm opening the box. Russell, Russell, Russell. Loads of, loads of leaflets this month. Always check your leaflets, guys, because um, they have vouchers on, which is good. Um, so I'll look at those afterwards because I don't want to give anything away. This box is round full. Uh, so this month is barbecue and garden party. Um, so I'm going to pick these out first. These are pea pops in cheddar and onion flavour. They're made of chickpeas and they're 185. Let's give it a taste. Oh, I thought they were going to be, um like balls <laughs> mm. Mm. very very tasty mm. they're like pop chips i've not had any breakfast yet so <laughs> then we've got some slow Slow rustic rolls with honey. Mmm, they sound gorgeous. Now, are these ones that you bake? Yes. Do you bake these at home? Yes, these are bakey baguettes, as I call them. Uh, they're ones you just pop in the oven. I do like them, but I will say with everything going on with the energy prices, I kind of just prefer my bread to be cooked for me. <laughs> But I'm sure they'll be delicious. These are available at Tesco and Asda. They're by Slow. Um, crispy Rusket Rolls with Honey, 165. Um, they're 100% natural and organic ingredients. Um, 
they do sound absolutely with honey that sounds absolutely delicious then we've got a cheeky little bottle of vino however it's a red wine so i'm actually going to keep this for when my lovely little uh, french boyfriend <laughs> He loves a red wine. Um, I don't like red wine at all. I find it very heavy. Um, but that's great because he likes he likes a little glass of wine. He's French, so um, this is a Merlot from Chile. It's carbon neutral certified. Um, this is two pounds for this little bottle. Uh, blackberry and plum flavors with hints of oak. Um, but yeah, that's great. Uh, you, you, I'm sure if you don't like red, you've passed this on to a friend or keep it for when you have a little dinner party and someone wants a glass of red. Uh, if you like red, I'm sure it's very nice. I do like Echo Falls. I really like their white Zinfandel. So if you've never tried <laughs> Echo Falls, <laughs> highly recommend. Then I, my mum has had this before. The mushroom ketchup. Um, I think it's a bit like a Worcestershire sauce, anchovy sauce. Let's read the description. So this is by Geo Watkins. Our mushroom ketchup is full of deep, powerful unami flavours. It's also completely vegan. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think Worcestershire sauce isn't vegan. And, and I think this might be a good alternative. Uh, so you can put it in pies, gravies or stews. And even in ramen, vegan sausage rolls or pizza sauces. So I guess it just, it's kind of like, you just umps up the savoury note. And that's two pounds, you get Tesco's Waitrose, Booves and a Cardo. Oh, I'm excited for these. Cars, we, like, we do like Cars biscuits in our family. Um, and these are Italian herb flavour. Oh my gosh. I did have my housewoman party um a couple of days ago and i did like an italian theme um i'm in a big italian mood this year um all i want is italian food italian drinks italian clothes <laughs> um so i'm not going to open these guys because um because they're these melt ones they do uh you know when like biscuits gonna get a bit damp like you need to you need to eat them or like wrap them up really carefully afterwards but melts cars are incredible and i'm sure what have we got cheese mm, there's cheese in them cheese any other flavorings so oh, natural flavor it's a secret but i'm sure like oregano basil all that kind of yummy stuff um they're 169 mm, oh with burrata they said to have them we were okay then there is so much in this box guys um these are nip nuts oh hot honey and mustard how much are these oh we could have got hot chili classic sea salt um these are 150 i feel like that's a really good price for some nuts um yeah amazon Ocado or their website sounds interesting it's a bit too early for a, a honey mustard nut but we'll continue this now this is something you could kind of have for breakfast this is a love raw cream wafer bar salted caramel it looks like a kinder bueno i'm like <laughs> give it to me um it's very how do i get yeah it's very kinder bueno looking I'm excited to try this. I think it's vegan. Yeah, it's a vegan Kinder Bueno. Quite thick. Mmm. Really nice. It is £1.89 though. And a Kinder Bueno is like 60p. Mmm. It's really good though and there's no palm oil so really nice but very expensive for what it is then we've got some mellow mint cbd chewing gum i need all the relaxation possible um so these are either 350 or 399 um i don't know which is I think the gum is three ninety nine. Um, so these have got forty five milligrams of CBD 
per pack. So that's not each CBD. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm talking about here. Um, so improve your mood and well-being. So you can have, they recommend one piece of gum three times a day. And that will be uh, 15 mg per day. And they've said the maximum you should have in a day um, is 70. So you would need to have quite a few packets of this gum. <laughs> to be able... So I might give that a go, actually. I like that idea. I'm not really into like oils um, and stuff. And I feel like this is quite an affordable way to take CBD. These are only um, 3 99 So excited to try them. Very interesting. Ooh, we've got slim noodles um we got the pad thai version uh whoa this is for this is an expensive box lots of expensive things in this one um so this is 208 calories authentic pad thai curry with noodle shape konjac i've never tried konjac i've heard mainly bad things <laughs> but we will give it a go um, so they do it a uh, takodal, penang curry, and um, al alabiata. Uh, but I love, I love a pad thai. I'd probably add a bit of egg. I think pad thai comes with egg and peanuts, doesn't it? Mm. Ooh. Ooh, we've got some vegan vanilla mallows. Um, so these are one ninety nine. Um, you can get them in strawberry, vanilla, and mini pink and white ones. And they're suitable for vegans and vegetarians. Well, let's give this a go. Again, excellent breakfast food. Um, I need my scissors. I haven't got my dad here to rip all the stuff open. Yeah, this is a really good But I'm really enjoying this box. I feel like I want to try everything. Um, so, nice little boop, boop, boop. You wouldn't know they're vegan. And they're nicely flavoured. They're really good. One of the nicest marshmallows I've ever had. Mmm. Really good. Mmm. I feel like I've had this before. This is the New Yorker Steakhouse Barbecue Sauce. Um, this is £2, bullseye. Um, I think they, I can't remember the last one I had, but I didn't like it. Um, so interested to try this one, but I will say you are in the cupboard if you're wondering what's going on. This was in the last box I unboxed. This Pizza Express dipping sauce is really good. Love it. Um, so if you see that, I've seen that in Tesco. So interested to see how this compare but it's a bit more like salsery like you can see like the ingredient it's not like blended as much and i don't really like, I don't like that but we shall see and then finally we've got this really yummy sounding drink it's a tropical lemonade um tropical turtle juice love the packaging absolutely gorgeous this is £1.10. It's inspired by a mango daiquiri. Guys, I know you want me to try this out, but I really want to try it later when it's really cold out of the fridge. I'll leave a note here on the bottom if it was good. Um, so this you could put with rum. It doesn't come with rum. It's a soft drink. Sweet mangoes, zingy lime, and a hint of coconut. Oh, that sounds incredible. It's available at Amazon, Ocado, Holland & Barrett, Sainsbury's, and lots of independent retailers incredible straight in the fridge i'm excited to try that later i think there's one of the best degusta boxes i've had in a long time they're everything everything is something that will be eaten tried and tested by me or someone in my family um a big thank you to degusta for gifting me this box as always and if you fancy getting your hands on a degusta box and you would like a little discount for your first time i'll pop that on the screen for you now as well as down below so you can copy and paste that strange a sequence of numbers and letters um but yeah this one's a really good one 
don't know if I'm really seeing the barbecue and garden party. Uh, <laughs> But we appreciate the effort, guys. Mwah. Love it. Fantastic box this month. And yeah, can't, that drink sounds so refreshing. I'm so excited to try it. Um, I'm now going to put a wash on. Because I was going to put a wash on before. But I was like, that's, I'm literally filming above the washing machine. So I was like, that's going to be noisy. So this is this is the kind of internal term, 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 like issues, the internal issues that go through your head when you are a YouTuber. When do I put the wash on? <laughs> so I'm gonna put all this food away and put a wash on. So guys, it's now time for the Mongolian beef recipe. Um, I've never had so many requests for a recipe before. So I'm very excited to do it with you. Um, I am gonna just link the recipe I am using down below. I didn't invent <laughs> this recipe, but it's one, it's one of my favorite meals. Um, so I'm very, very excited to share it with you let me get my cups my measuring cups how absolutely gorgeous are these i've never used them and i feel kind of i feel like i don't want to use them but here we are so um i'm just getting all of my cups ready <laughs> so First thing we need to do, I've got all my um, ingredients out. So first thing, we need the beef. I just went for um, lean diced beef. I just got this from Lidl's um, and it's all ready to go. It does say flank steak. I don't really know what flank steak is, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, so I just went for a beef that is good for like slow cooking and stew type things. It does tend to be a bit more affordable. Um, so I'm just going to put that beef straight into uh, my uh, slow cooker. I wish I had two phones so I could like show you, but I'll show you at the end what it looks like. Um... I need to wash my hands after this. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right, that's all in. I did get quite a lot of um, of meat because I like I like it quite meaty. I am going to freeze um, a couple of these as well because um, slow cooker food freezes really, really well and then you can just defrost it or use the microwave or whatever. Next, we need a quarter cup of cornstarch. Um, that's just to kind of coat the meat. Um, so I've got a brand new packet. Everything's brand new at the moment. It's costing me a bloody fortune going to the shops because I need so many staples. Because I have no staples. I have no staple food staples or metal staples. <laughs> right, oh my gosh. How do I cook with Becky um I'm gonna use a spoon <laughs> I'm trying to be lazy and not um I feel oh no I'm gonna need more than that Ooh. probably about two very heaped tablespoons of corn flour just pop that in and then you just coat your beef. Now it did tell me to put it in a bowl and coat my meat. I'm just gonna do it straight into the slow cooker because um, I believe in not uh, using too many things. <laughs> if I don't have to wash up a bowl, you know, cause I can just do this straight into the slow cooker, that's what I'm gonna do. So we're just mixing um, all of that together. Let me show you. So it just, it's not looking very, very sexy right now, but just coat in the meat and that will give it a really nice uh, texture uh, when it's cooked. Almost like a little bit, not like a batter, but it will just make it, I think, less tough as well. I think. I'm no food scientist. Right, so part, first job, first part done. 
excellent um, so next we need to put all the other ingredients in it so first up is a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil i feel like this recipe does use quite a lot of um your store cupboard ingredients so if you're not like me with fifty thousand uh things that i needed to buy you probably got a lot of this already so i'm just putting that tablespoon in there i do love sesame oil it's really good just for kind of um any kind of asian cooking nice to finish a dish off then we need a teaspoon of minced garlic and minced ginger i've just got this paste Ooh. Oh, it's got plastic seal on. I've not done too much big cooking, if you know what I mean. Um, oh, there we go. So I just need a teaspoon of each. A teaspoon. Ooh, wow. That's a, a strong. But that's good i love garlic and then i uh, also got the same ginger paste i got these off uh, my cherries haul again really good staples you do have to keep them in the uh, the fridge though so do bear that in mind <laughs> right so get a spoon of that in there i do put a heaped teaspoon in just because i do like um ginger and garlic <laughs> so next on the list uh we want soy sauce so i've got a uh, kiko man i normally get um they do a really really big bottle because i go through soy sauce like the clappers i do like making my asian food i like um I like doing an easy, you know, a stir fried, a special fried rice. Um, I like doing like a soy honey chicken. Um, so we need half a cup of soy sauce. It's quite a lot of soy sauce. There we go. Just pouring that straight in there. Um, then we need half a cup of water. I'm just going to use the same, same cup. That's in there like that. Lovely jubbly. And then finally, oh, almost finally, we need some, sh some brown sugar. Now, it didn't tell me <laughs> whether it was light or brown, and I can't remember what we used. I just thought brown would be nicer, um, dark brown, because yeah, I like a ca very caramelised moment. Um, oh, I'm gonna need another spoon. I'm gonna be washing up spoons for the rest, the rest of the day. Um, this is the problem with cups: is the cups are very small, and. Yeah, that's about right. About three heap tablespoons of um, sugar. Right. Now, I need to chop some spring onions and I'll be right back. Chopped up my, my spring onion. I do love spring onion. I have saved some for garnish because um, I like a spring onion garnish. Um, I dropped a bit on the floor. Um, right, I'm gonna give you a quick that quick a quick mixeroo. Um, there's a spoon. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a quick mix, and I'll show you what it's looking like. Guys, this looks and smells absolutely incredible. Um, it was really really easy to put together. I've lost. Where's my little slow cooker? Then? So we just pop this on like so. Oh, I need to switch it on. There we go. So that's all. It's now on. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what this is like uh, at the end of the night. I'm going to serve it with some uh, broccoli and some just uh, regular, just 
rice <laughs> and then I'll also uh, probably freeze some as well for some other meals but I'm, I'm my mouth is watering guys I'm so excited so guys just so you know uh slow cooker timing wise because I've not got um the flank I've just got like stewing steak um I have just cooked it uh for, for quite a bit longer <laughs> so treating it almost like a stew so um you can put it on low for eight hours or high for four hours that just makes the beef all nice and tender um so yeah obviously in the recipe link down below that's timings for flank steak which i'm guessing is a little bit tender and probably why it's a little bit more expensive so guys i want to quickly show you what i got from primark um uh, so bloody loud motorbike so i <laughs> didn't get too too much and if i'm 100 percent honest guys i have given up on the whole finding stuff that fits me in primark until primark actually start making clothes to fit me they make maternity clothes for people that are only pregnant for nine months but they don't make clothes for people that are permanently mad <laughs> I'm just not going to bother. It's too much hassle. Just go to H&M. They're like the same price for some things. Go watch my latest H&M video. Some bargains. You can get a dress for like 13 quid and it's gorgeous. And it fits you. <laughs> so, but I do like to go to Primark for your little cheap accessories. Uh, shoes. They do great, you know, little makeup at home bits as well. And I like, you know, shopping with my friends that do fit the clothes in there. So... <laughs> There are things that fall in your basket, even if there are no clothes. <laughs> so first up, I got these gorgeous bracelet sets. Um, so bracelets, as a fat person, is a different... All the noises, all the noises. Uh, bracelets, as a, as a fat person, can be tricky. These are all elasticated um, bracelets, which are super, super cute. Um, so I got these, like, really, really cute, like, little neon colors with um lots of like pearls and stuff just thought they were really really fun and bright and vibrant um and then i just got this little gold set as well uh, they were three pounds each that's still obviously a really good price but their prices are slowly slowly creeping up um as with everything though so it is what it is. Then I think this is my favourite thing in this haul. How gorgeous are these? These are the kind of little, I don't know what these little things are, but I used to love them when I was younger. I was obsessed with these little like plastic. I just loved the vibe. Um, so I'm loving that these are coming back in fashion. Uh, this is like, these are like little, little clips. And then these are like little bobbies. Um, I think for three quid, you can't really go wrong. Um, and they're like sewn on, but not glued. And I thought that was really clever. Then, these mega clips are like the trendiest thing ever at the moment. We went to Asda the other day and I got one, like a brown one, that was three quid just for one. They're quite, these can be quite expensive. So, four pound for all three is actually a very good price in comparison to a lot of places um han actually taught me how to use them because i have bought a couple of the past but i just didn't get what it's meant to do so i've now been taught and i really like them um these colors again fabulous i love how this like blue would like match with this really really cute colors uh four pound all the <laughs> I remember back in the day when everything like in the like accessory stuff would be like a quid. So now I'm like, whoa, <laughs> it's all expensive. <laughs> but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that expensive. Um, and then everything else is just some two, two pairs of shoes. It's just a small haul, guys. It's a small haul. These were three pounds. These are fake tevias. I do have a pair of tevias in storage still. I've got so much stuff in storage that I need to go through, guys. When I moved out of London, I just put it all in a spare garage. <laughs> Never looked back. Um, so I do own an all black pair of tevias and they are incredibly, incredibly comfortable. But I feel like these, these literally do the same thing. Uh, so they were originally £10 
reduced to three pounds and then this gorgeous green uh, gingham they did do them in a lilac gingham and a black gingham uh, they didn't have the black gingham in my size otherwise i would have definitely got the black as well um they also did them in a leopard print but the leopard print when i went to the till was still 10 pounds so if you see these they put the leopard print with the three pound ones they didn't have a sticker on to be fair but i assumed <laughs> so i'm glad that i looked um as they were scanned because i was like oh okay probably don't want them for 10 pounds but for three pound absolute bargain and then oh i do love these these are going to be a marmite these are definitely going to be a marmite i got these uh these are chanel dupes i don't know if chanel ever came out with like brown suede ones um but they're like these kind of like they're not granddad sandal. they're like a chunky sandal again velcro um if you're a wide fit gal like me uh these are really really nice i got these in an eight as well these were 12 pounds <laughs> so i treated myself um they're very very comfortable um i really really like them and yeah i just deserved a couple of little otherwise guys you just see me in my black havana flip-flops or my white bag of socks so i was like I need to get a couple of other options <laughs> um, just so I have, yeah. So, so I thought these with some light uh, blue jeans um, and just, a, you know, a nice little top would be really, really cute. Um, I don't know what, maybe they'll go with a couple of my dresses as well. But I mainly bought these to wear with jeans. Um, so yeah, that's all that I got from Primark. Not loads of stuff. Uh, we should... We should Google Primer, it all bloody adds up, doesn't it? That that little lot was uh, twenty eight pounds. Was it twenty eight pounds? Yeah, twenty pound. How did we, how did we get there? I don't know how we got to twenty eight pounds, but that's the thing. You're like, oh, then you're gonna be, then you're gonna be a couple quid. Twenty eight pound. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was my little haul. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah there you go <laughs> so guys here is the final um meal <laughs> so uh there obviously is the mongolian beef i've got so much of it left um such a good meal if you're cooking for a lot of people and obviously you can totally size up um the, the recipe so you could do um what am i trying to say you can make a meal for eight people if you wanted to in that slow cooker i'll leave the discount code again my affiliate discount code on the screen if you fancy picking up a swan slow cooker they also do loads and loads of other um products on there like air fryers and all good things like that so definitely check them out but i am so so excited the house has smelled of this all afternoon i've literally my mouth has been watering um so i just served it with a little bit of boiled broccoli for those veggies and just some plain rice because there's so much flavor in this and then i just topped it with some fresh spring onions so let me give you a little taste test get with a little bit of rice here we go mmm it's really good super soy saucy um a little bit sweet really nice oniony bits mm, really good guys right, so i am gonna leave you here um i'm just gonna kick back um and enjoy some tv um yeah so don't forget to subscribe like and leave me a little comment down below and i'll see you in the next one bye